Hi there. Um, I hope everyone is doing all right at this time. Uh, you know, I, I do wish all of you uh, the best in health and that you also try to take care of each other in terms of uh, not hoarding at the grocery store would be one of them. That would be to share with everyone else. There's plenty to go around in this country and there's no need to hoard. So I hope that uh, you know, you can think of your fellow man in at this time. And uh, enough of that. We'll move on to the video. This is um, Solus 4.1. And I, as you can see, I changed the wallpaper. Uh, the reason for this video is to just kind of show some of you a, a couple of, um, oh, I guess user cosmetic changes you can do uh, to set it up for your needs. Um, this is what I do for me. And it changes a little bit as time goes on. So this is a what I would normally, uh, how I would configure KDE at this point uh, on March 24th, 2020. So um, I'll just begin by telling you that the panel normally is at the bottom. Um, what I've done, I moved it to the right. It's on auto hide. And, um, you know, hold on a second. I think... Okay, I must have had two of these running at the same time. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, um, what you'll notice is that I have the panel off to the left. It's on auto hide. And um, to configure, to get this panel from the bottom to the left side in KDE, you would right click on it, go to edit. Then you have your screen edge and your width. The width is the edge to the edge of the edge of the screen to the edge of the panel. And the screen edge allows you to move the panel itself to wherever you want it. You want it up at the top, the bottom. Um, of course, the default, as I mentioned, is down here at the bottom. Uh, but I'm going to put it right back where I want it on the left. And then the trick or the part that you'll need to work with is if you want your application menu in the corner bottom left corner you're going to have to play with uh, if you go into config panel you'll have your little menu down here when you're in a config mode and you'll notice that you actually have this addendum panel here which I think is newer in the newer versions of uh, plasma so this is this reflects the panel I believe or they work in unison um, so say I want to move this the application menu down here as I mentioned you would um, click on this click on the uh, configuration thing then you can hover in here and you'll notice that you'll have the panel spacer and that panel spacer allows you to move these items up or down I believe uh, and correct me if I'm wrong but I, I've forgotten now if that's what I use but I'm pretty sure it is so you would drag these to where you want them and I believe you can expand or contract the spacer to some degree uh, by these little bars here. You can see the bar here and that's how you kind of move things around. Um, you may have to Google on how to do it and I may elaborate in the show notes but this spacer is what allows you to move some things around. And of course, as I mentioned, this little bar you've got, as you get right down in between, you can see that I can move it. You have arrows once you hover over the bar itself. So there's one down here and there's one up here. And then there's in the default uh, panel, I believe there's another item in here that I removed. Um, I didn't see a need for it at this point. So I just have the spacer in here. Um, also, uh, when you want to add widgets, once you've enabled the configuration um, you know, the, of the panel, you would just click and add widgets. You'll have your uh, selections in here. You can search for whatever you're looking for. If you're not sure, I guess you might have to go to their uh, KDE's uh, website to find out what widgets are available or do some kind of Google search. Um, and then if you also want to add additional widgets down at the bottom, it says get new widgets. You click here and you can add additional ones that aren't uh, in the default uh, panel here. And then when you have a, a widget, you would just click on it and drag it to where you want it. You can drag it into the latte dock, which is like a 
plasma or it's like a plank dock uh, on other distros but this is latte is is uh, unique to kde and it seems to work just as well uh, in kde at least now in the more current versions i've had less issues with the latte dock it seems to work very well um, but anyway so if you also if you want to drag a one of these out on the desktop um, this is the analog clock and i believe if I type digital, there's the digital clock, which is, you'll notice the number one. That means I've already have it, uh, I'm using it, and it's here in the corner. So you would just click on it, drag it to where you want it, release it, and they, there you have it. And if, let me click right here. Now you can also, I'm in a configure mode with the panel, as you can see down here in the corner. Once it's in a configure mode, also in a, this is showing here to tell you you're in a configure mode. You can click, you can come over here where your clock is. You can configure the clock further by clicking here. You can also remove it, and you can uh, enlarge the font or uh, increase or decrease the size of the text here by just dragging here in the corner. So I just wanted a clock in the right corner. Uh, with the date and um, that's how I did that widget and then I added three widgets down here um, I took the they were here in the panel I disabled a couple of these by right clicking in the little I don't know what you call it, little rectangular area here and I think I right clicked on uh, whatever else was here at the time it would have been the clipboard and um, uh, what is it uh, particularly the clipboard so I disabled it here and I added it in the latte dock down here uh, show desktop I believe was in the panel and I had to add it here as a um, widget I believe and then I also added the lock uh, logout widget here so these are the three widgets that I thought were most useful in the latte dock this of course is my simple screen recorder as you can see there, uh, which is doing the video here right now. Um, I guess what I'll do is show you how to, oh, um, I guess what I'll show you is that the, when you click on the uh, menu, your start menu, you have three different types of menus that you can have. So I'm using a alternate menu. If you right click on the menu, says show alternatives you'd click here and you'll have an option to uh, try out various menus so this is the menu I like uh, it's simple and it gets to where I want to go to me the, the easiest so you have recent application or recent documents recent applications um, and then you also have a favorite panel here and to add items in the favorites you would just go to a particular application right click on it You'll notice add to favorites. Boom. If you click here, it'll it'll populate here in the, on the left column here. And if you want to remove that item that you just added, you would just right click on it and you'll have the ability to remove it. Left click down here. Um, let's see, where else did I want to go? Uh, when you're if you want to install the latte doc, um, I believe in I don't know if it's all the key distros, I assume you would go into their software uh, menu. Um, so here I'll go to applicate or the uh, start menu. Uh, you have your software center, I guess that's what it's called. You click on that. So I'll just click on it. Excuse me. <clears throat> then you would go into search and you type in latte. You have to be specific for it to come up so make sure you spell it correctly click enter and I already have it installed so this is version 0 0.9.9 .9. if you go to the far right you'll see that you can remove it because it's already installed and this is it down here so once it's installed um, I don't think it auto starts until you engage it at least one time once you engage it for the first time, so once you've installed it, sometimes I restart or reboot. You might be able to just log out and, and it may not matter at all, but once you've done any of that, then you would click in your, excuse me, your application menu, go into um, utilities, 
and you'll see latte. So you'd click on it and it will pop up here and then you it'll have a few default applications and then you can add those additional apps by just coming in here going to a particular app dragging it and once you drag it you'll have the ability to just release it here once you release it here you've got it in the panel and then you can even drag it and move it wherever you want it in this in the area here so i guess i could give you a, a demo um, all right, so we want, say we want uh, draw. So I would just, I'm dragging it, I click drag, and then you'll have a task area. So you have to release it in the task area, not beyond it. It has to be in here. Let it go, and then just a slight delay, and there it is. And so now I can just drag it and move it wherever I want. Say, say I want it there. If you want to remove it, you just right click, unpin from launcher. So you can click there, boom, it's gone. Um, if you want to configure this panel further, just right click, I guess anywhere really, right click, left click dock settings. And I have it in advanced mode. When you click it for the first time, it will look like this, where advanced will be unchecked. Um, you get additional features if you click on advanced, but of course there's you know, it's a learning curve, but it isn't rocket science. So um, I clicked on advanced. So I, now every time I enable this, it comes up in the far right. It's a larger menu and it gives you all the options that you can play with from behavior, appearance, effects, tasks. And then there's a uh, launcher, unique, global. I mean, it's endless. Uh, just be aware of whatever changes you make to, if you want to restore it, you might want to you might capture uh, what this default menu is like. So I have Spectacle, which is your capture, uh, screen capture. If you click on it, then I have rectangular, rectangular region enabled. Uh, take a new screenshot, click on that, and now I could just copy this menu. Say it was the default menu. In this case, I, I don't think I made changes in the tasks, but you can just do that, then hit enter. It'll allow you to save the that particular just the menu itself, and then all you have to do is save as, and you're done. So I'm going to cancel this because I don't need it. Um, but that's how say you you know if you're going to make a change and you there's or you've made a few incremental changes, and you want to remember what you did or what you didn't do, that's where uh, the um, screen uh, capture is very handy. And even when you're at a web page, although there are browsers now that have screen capture. Uh, embedded in them or you can enable a lot of some of the browsers with the with their own screen capture but uh, KD and most districts have a screen capture ability and it's always handy to have it in your panel uh, or a dock um, what else I want to show you um, I think that's about it I may add note uh, some things to the show notes uh, possibly on the wallpaper and a few other things um, this is just kind of a give you a quickie of some of the changes I've made with KDE at this point. Uh, I just prefer to see as much of the um, desktop as I can, and that's why I have this on auto hide. And um, this also is on auto hide. So if you say if I enable the browser, let's see if I click on Firefox, there's a delay here because I've got a slower computer here um, so here you see it, it it just puts the panel in auto hide basically once you put anything in so I'm just trying to maximize my screen space uh, particularly if you have a smaller uh, display you'll want to utilize as much screen space as you can without having panels in the way or docks so that's why they're on auto hide um, and uh, I guess that's it uh, thanks for watching and uh, um, take care of yourselves.